She walks downtown with a suitcase in her hand She's looking for a mysterious dark haired man In her younger days they called her Delta Dawn The prettiest woman you ever laid eyes on And a man of low degree stood by her side He was looking for to make her for Ride to take her to his mansion in the sky. 
sky Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Could it be a faded rose from days gone by? And did I hear you say he was meeting you here today To take you to his mansion in the sky Could it be a faded rose from days gone by? And did I hear you say he was meeting you here today to take you to his mansion in the sky? Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Could it be a faded rose from days gone by? And did I hear you say he was a meeting you here today to take you to his mansion in the sky. To take you to his mansion in the sky. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Hey, everybody have a good time tonight. The Piper's about ready to bring him in. We are Jeannie and Charles, and you guys enjoy. Pleased as punch to be uh, your masters of ceremony for tonight. Welcome to a night of celebration of Nigel Armstrong. And since we didn't get a chance to introduce them before they started playing, uh, let's uh, have a nice round of applause for Jeannie and Charles. Jeannie Campbell and Charles Reed. 
And also we want to make mention, of course, uh, for making this such a special, special evening. Uh, you know, Nigel just loves the bagpipes. And thank you so much to Piper Matthew McLean. And just a few little uh, housekeeping notes for tonight. Uh, just a reminder too for uh, those under 19 years of age that um, at 10 o'clock is uh, alcohol regulation time. So, but uh, kids can certainly stay until uh, 10 o'clock uh, tonight. Uh, that is it, and uh, we've already had some great entertainment. And Eddie Quinn is uh, another uh, wonderful island mm -hmm. musician. You know, every musician that we reached out to, every person we reached out to for anything, really, the answer was always yes. And uh, Eddie is uh, all the way from Cardigan or somewhere like that. <laughs> I'm not, I don't mean to say he's singing that song. <laughs> but he's all the way from Summers and he's here tonight. And uh, Eddie, whenever you want to take the stage, you can. Awesome. Eddie Quinn. On a Friday night such as this, folks, at the Murphy Community Center, could I have a hallelujah? Oh, geez, I think we can do a little better than that tonight, can't we? On the count of three, one, two, three. Well, I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Sing if you know it. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Just like a blind man wandered alone Worries and fears I kept for my own Then like a blind man God gave back his sight Praise the Lord, I saw the light Let me hear you this time I saw the light, I saw the light No more darkness, no more food to wander and strain. Straight is the gate and narrows the way. Now I am trained in the wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. All together this time. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Clap your hands this time. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Once more, all together. I saw the light. Thank you, folks. Thanks for singing along. I swore to myself today if the wind ever stopped blowing, I'd sing this song tonight. The storms never last, do they, baby? And back Times all pass with a wind, and your hand in mine stills the thunder, and you make the sun warm the shine. You follow me down so. Many roads. 
wildflowers and sung you soft, sad song. And every road we took, God knows our search was for the truth. And the clouds brewing now won't be the last. And storms never last, do they, baby? Bad times all pass with the wind. Your hand in mine steals the thunder. bunch. Janice with your applause and generous for turning out tonight. Maybe I'll sing you one more song, folks, before I scoot. Uh, this is one I wrote a few years ago, and it's all about pitching in to help out your neighbors, uh, which is exactly what you folks are doing here tonight, helping out Nigel. It's much appreciated. When I was young, I had a saying, you will seldom never hear. I got a song here to explain it, so sit just down and lend an ear. It's good advice to keep your back straight, to give your knees just a little bend. Take a grip here, will you, buddy? Give us a lift and let her send. Let her send, boys, let her send, boys. Give a lift, boys, and let her send. Just lend a hand out to your neighbor and see the job do. So lift that letter said There was a time of farming families Nowadays it's in decline We turned our hands toward her labor In the fields and fell the pine We had to look no farther than next door To find some help you can depend You'd do the same when it was your turn To give a lift and letter said Letter send boys, letter send boys, give a lift boys a letter send. I'll lend a hand up to your neighbor, and see the job through to the end. Yes, it's true, these times we're living in can make a painter of a friend. So don't be shy, give it a try, boys, give us a lift and letter send. I see a younger generation will finish school and come of age. A lot of them will leave the island. They're heading west to earn their ways. Now, fellas, don't forget where you're coming from. Don't be afraid to buck the trend. No matter where or what your job is, give us a lift and a letter send. Letter send, boys, letter send, boys. Give a lift, boys, a letter send. Just lend a hand up to your neighbor. See the job through to the end. Yes, it's true, these times we're living in can make a stranger of a friend. So don't be shy, give it a try, boys. Give us a lift and a letter send. Oh, don't be shy, give it a try, boys. Give us a lift and a letter send. Thanks a lot, folks. Enjoy the rest of the music. I'm going to tell a little story about Nigel. Uh, him and I have been doing a little reminiscing uh, in the last while. And, and um, uh, if you're in the newspaper business as long as uh, I was and as long as Nigel was, there's lots of things you did that you were proud of. And there was a few gaffes that you did that maybe you weren't that proud of. But Nigel and I always joked about, uh, this is a few years ago now, 
and Nigel was invited to a Culinary Institute event. And he thought he wanted to bring a little art and culture to the paper. I remember he jokingly told me. He said, we need more art and culture in this paper. He said, I'm going to write a review about this dinner that I attended. And I said, okay, good. So he only made one mistake. He wrote about it was a lovely evening and the decor and the guests and the food was great. And then he mentioned, uh, he made a comment about the quote unquote gravy, gravy. So the next day, uh, one of the culinary inst uh, instructors called him up and said, what are you doing? I, I've been years in culinary school. I didn't go there to make gravy. It's sauce. <laughs> so anyway, we always teased him a lot about that. Uh, just one little reminder before Carrie Wynn takes over. The 50-50 table is over there. And Francie's got a really long arm. If you want to buy a sleeve, she's got a long arm. Doesn't look like it, but it is very long. The 50-50 closes at 9.30. The draw is at 10. Closes at 9.30, the draw is at 10. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, you do have to be here to uh, win and claim the money. Uh, yes, and also for those that may have uh, just arrived since we were last here on stage, the uh, silent auction is right across the hall. There are numerous, numerous items there up for uh, bids. And when I walked in and saw all those items, I thought, what a true testament in the community to Nigel Armstrong and what he's done over the last number of years. We want to thank everybody for, for donating and the work of all the folks uh, at The Guardian in collecting and asking for all those donations. Uh, that takes a lot of time and a lot of time to set it up and of course everybody is here volunteering because we all love Nigel so much. And uh, I too was a member of the Guardian staff uh, back in, mm, started in I think 1986 at the paper. <laughs> oh, yes, I was born before, long before that. <laughs> and I remember starting at the paper and uh, Nigel was there just uh, a little while before before me and he was always so so loving and kind and to uh, help me out and show me the ropes Gary was too of course and Bill McGuire and all the folks at the Guardian and um, can, I, can I tell a story about you oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. how you used to terrify us Terry Wynn used to send in the, the funeral accounts and she'd uh, send them in on this device we had and then she'd put these kind of cutty funny little remarks at the top of the funeral announcement. And some of them were a little risque maybe, depending on your sense of humor. I knew my audience. You, you knew her audience. The audience was the newsroom. Unfortunately, one of them got in with the, in the paper with the comment on top. Yeah. I know, there was the comment in, in italics, in the middle of all the, uh, the funeral write-ups and church announcements. And one of our colleagues, uh, God love her, Nancy Willis, made sure that uh, she photocopied and printed that very large and boldly and framed it for me. So I still have that after all these years. Who knows, it still might happen here tonight. It's tough to change at my age now. Um, I was just going to say, it shows that uh, even though many of us moved on from The Guardian and a lot of the staff uh, that was there when I was there has retired, it still always makes um, for a family. And uh, when Jim Day had called me and, and said, you know, we're doing this for Nigel, there was no, no hesitation whatsoever. I mean, it's, it's so wonderful to, to be here and see uh, the community turn out for Nigel and see uh, all my friends, old and new, with The Guardian as well. Well, I think we're uh, almost ready to roll here. I know they don't need any introduction, but I still have to say, it's so wonderful, as Gary said, like every musician that was called uh, agreed 
right off the bat to be here. Two of the finest musicians Prince Edward Island has. Both of them uh, you would have seen or heard many times with the Charlottetown Festival and at Confederation Center of the Arts. Many of them, or the two of them, also would have either um, maybe directed your child in uh, choir, played for umpteen kids. Also, um, you would have heard Mr. Joey Kitson as well with several groups and his own uh, solo career, one of the biggest most beautiful ballsy voices there is on this planet. And Joey's here tonight accompanied by my longtime friend and music partner Mr. Donnie Frazier. Please welcome Donnie and Joey. Hi folks, we're going to play some uh, a few jazz tunes for you. Here. This ain't called love when I'm up. I can't handle it. This ain't a call love when I just I can't handle it. I get ready. A crazy little thing called love. Oh, this ain't a call love. The lit cries in a cradle all night. It swings, it jives. Shakes all over like a jellyfish, kind of like a crazy little thing called love. There goes my baby. She knows how to rock and roll. She drives me crazy. She gave me hot cold fever. She's me in a cold, cold sweat. She 
drives me crazy She gave me hot cold fever She leaves me in a cold, cold sweat I gotta be cool Relax and get help Get on my track Take a back seat and hitchhike Take a long ride on the motorbike Till I'm ready A crazy little thing called love 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 Wow, well, just a crazy little thing called love Unbelievable. For all the dancers out there. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, Sing forevermore Cause you are all I long for All I worship and adore In other words Please be true In other words I love you Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. We're going to finish off with this little tune by Mr. Van Morrison. Oh, 
sadness Ease my troubles, that's what you do Thanks for coming out this morning, Nigel and his family. Thank you. Mr. Don Frazier. Thank you very much, Don and Joey. Uh, you can never get enough Van Morrison. That was a great rendition. Uh, the last time I uh, had a microphone in my mouth, I made a little fun of, uh, a little light of Nigel and his journalism career. And he had a great journalism career. And we've had Many, uh, many people have sent in comments about Nigel. And uh, one of them that really sticks out to me uh, was very short and concise. It was uh, by a well-respected, uh, I guess he's retired, journalist, Ian Petrie, longtime CBC guy. Ian said that Nigel never ducked a tough story. And he never did. Thanks again to... <laughs> I think I almost need to get out of the way here, or I'm going to be in... Yeah, or I'm going to be in uh, a musical group. But I just wanted to, in case the... Uh, in case the... Uh, I forget to mention it, that uh, there's been a lot of people helping out with this. Uh, but I guess the key people were uh, some really colleagues at the Guardian who were very fond of Nigel and they put uh, they put a lot of work and time and effort into this and we don't want to get into names I'm just a mouthpiece here for one of many many and uh, so they need to be congratulated but we won't get into names uh, and typical uh, I mentioned earlier how great island musicians are it's saying yes Eddie Quinn uh, I guess this is not uncommon for island musicians right after Eddie left here he was heading for a wake uh, but he did uh, perform to us before then. Now, upcoming is a real treat. This is the Mus Laurie Link Letter and the Guild Music Group Singers. And a lot of these young people are also fast friends with Nigel's daughter, Siobhan. <laughs>
Carrie Wynn now has, she's going to read a prayer. Um, I'm sure as many of you know, it's, um, it's difficult in the tough times to get through and to, to go the next day. In more tough times, you know, as um, Nigel and family know over the last 10 years in uh, fighting, this, fighting this battle. And Nigel has been quite a warrior. And that's because of uh, his incredible deep faith that he has that sustains him and the family and sustains us all. The following prayer was written by Nigel's ministers, Tom and Paula Hamilton from St. Mark's. And it conveys Nigel's faith and some of uh, the hopes that he has for each of us. At this time, I'd ask you to please uh, join together in prayer. Let's bow our heads and uh, some reflection. Loving and gracious God, we join together this evening to celebrate Nigel Armstrong. We give thanks for his many years of service to his community through his work at The Guardian, as a leader in the Boy Scouts, in weekly worship at St. Mark's Presbyterian Church, and through so many other endeavors that Nigel has made. Dear God, there's no mistaking Nigel's exuberant zest for life. Whether calling out a cheerful greeting to someone on the street or embracing skydiving, Nigel is an example of choosing the positive over the negative and seeking out new adventures. Tonight here we stand in support of Nigel and Sarah, Charlotte, Siobhan and Graham. We pray for each one, dear God, and ask you to strengthen them and bless them in the way they most need. Heavenly Father, throughout his entire life, Nigel has trusted in you. His faith in Jesus Christ has been the bedrock of his life and provided him with the guidance and courage to live each day to the fullest. It has also given Nigel the assurance that when his earthly journey is over, he will immediately enter his heavenly home. It is Nigel's wish that each of us take a moment to think about our own spirituality here tonight. Lord, may we reach out to you with faith and trust so that we too can experience what Nigel knows to be true. That a life based on faith in you is a life that can weather any storm. A life that is sustained by your love. And a life that continues in heaven. All these things, dear God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Carrie Wynn, for that powerful delivery of uh, a very powerful prayer from Nigel's ministers. I now call on Graham Armstrong, who's got a very important job to do. And his sisters should be following him. He's going to be in charge of uh, his two sisters. Hi, my name.
My name is Graham Armstrong, and I'm proud to present my two sisters, Charlotte and Siobhan Armstrong, and they're singing Red River Valley that we used to sing all the time driving places, and it was just a lot of fun. Thank you, Graham. So this is Charlotte Armstrong and Siobhan Armstrong. From this valley they say you are going. We will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our path for a while. Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. But remember the Red River Valley and the cowgirl who loved you so true. Won't you think of this valley you're leaving? Oh, how lonely, how sad it will be. Just think of the fond heart you are breaking and the grief you are causing to me. As you go to your home by the ocean, may you never forget the sweet hours that we spent in the Red River Valley and the love we exchanged with the flowers. From this valley they say you are going. We will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our path for a while. Thank you, Charlotte and Siobhan and Graham. Right now I'd like to call upon uh, Cyril Armstrong after knowing Nigel for uh, a number of years and working with him at The Guardian, and then I was doing some, uh, some theater in town, and I think it was one of the first um, act productions, Confederation Center of the Arts, and there was a dance number, and I was paired with this. It was Blue Castle, exactly. Very good. I was paired with this fellow with these little glasses and this beard, and I knew underneath all that. He was Nigel Armstrong's brother, <laughs> most definitely. Uh, Cyril is here tonight with us and he's going to read two poems for us. Mr. Cyril Armstrong. Ladies and gentlemen, one aspect of our family is literature. And one of the loves that Nigel had in literature is poetry. And I'm going to read a bit of poetry for you. One of his favorite poems is The Cremation of Sam McGee. <laughs> now Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home in the south to roam around the pole? God only knows, he was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. <laughs> On Christmas Day, we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold! Though the park is fold, it stabbed like a driven nail. If our eyes we'd close, then the lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see. It wasn't much fun, and the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. And that very night, as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed, and the stars overhead were dancing heel and toe, he turned to me and said, Gah. He said, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low that I couldn't say no. And he says with a sort of a moan, It's the cursed coal, and it's got a right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone. Yet can't be dead, it's an awful dread of the icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear that foul or fair, 
You will cremate my last remains. Now a palace last need is a thing to heed, and I swore I would not fail. And we started on at a streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched in the sleigh, and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death, and I hurried, horror-driven. With a corpse half-hidden, I couldn't get rid because of the promise I'd given. It was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say, You may tax your brawn and brains, but you promised true, and it's up to you to cremate the last remains. Now a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart how I cursed that load. In the long, long night, by the lone far and light, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes, the homeless knows. Oh God, how I loathe the thing. And every day that quiet clay seemed heavier and heavier to grow. And on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not give in and often sing of a hateful thing. And it hearkened with a grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake Labarge and a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice and I saw in a trice that it was called the Alice May. And I looked at it and I thought a bit and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I, with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. <laughs> Some planks I tore by the cabin floor. I lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found was lying around and I heaped the, coal, the flames higher. The flames just soared and the furnace roared. Such a blaze you'd seldom see. I borrowed a hole in the glowing coals and I stuffed in Sam McGee. I made a hike, for I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled, and the huskies howled, and the winds began to blow. It was icy cold, but a hot sweat rolled down my cheek, and I didn't know why. And the greasy smoke in the inky cloak went streaking down the sky. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear. But the stars came out and they danced about ere again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked and it's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide and there sat Sam looking cold and calm in the heart of the furnace roar. And he wore a smile that could be seen a mile and he said, please close that door. It's fun in here, but I gently f fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Palm Tree down in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold, the Arctic trails and their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queers that ever did see was the night on the marge of Lake LaBarge, I cremated Sam McGee. Uh, another one of his favorite poems is by William Blake. It's called The Tiger. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? In what distant deeps or skies burnt the fire of thine eyes? On what wings dare he aspire? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart? And when thy heart begin to beat, what dread hand and what dread feet? What the hammer? What the chain? In what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil? What dead grasp dare to deadly terrorist clasp? When the straws threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears, did he smile his work to see? 
Did he who made the lamb make thee? There are a couple of other poems that I have here, which I'll quickly do. They're just sort of little vignettes that I, uh, I sort of had. And um, now, uh, besides being a family of literature, my mother was a great gardener. She had a garden. And I'm sure my brother, dear brother, um, took an interest in gardening, and I'm sure he has in, his, in a younger time of day. And this is a wonderful poem by Siegfried Sassoon. A flower has opened in my heart. What flower is this? What flower of spring? What simple secret thing? It is the peace that shines apart, the peace of daybreak skies that bring clear song and wild swift wing. Heart's miracle and in inward light, what powers unknown have sown your seed and your perfection freed? O oh, flower within me wondrous white, I know you only as my need and my unsealed sight. Another poem that I rather like is, um, it's called Little Things. It's by Julia Fletcher Kearney. Little drops of water, little grains of sand, make mighty ocean and a pleasant land. Thus the little minutes, humble though they be, make the mighty ages of eternity. <clears throat> I also like this one that comes from Archibald MacLeish, a Canadian poet. It's called The Age of Wisdom. <clears throat> At 20, stooping round about, I thought the world was a miserable place. Truth a trick, faith a doubt, little beauty, lest grace. Now, at 57, what I see, although the world is coarse by far, stops my heart in ecstasy. God, the wonders that there are. I would like to say that um, one of the last things I want to uh, read to you is the fact that um, uh, Nigel's wife has been um, a wonder to keep up and do uh, very good work in visiting Nigel in the Impalative uh, Center as, as all of us have done. But I thought I would end with a humorous note. And I got this from a poem by William Weldon, who actually came here and read his poetry. And it's called A Ghastly Thought. If I should die tonight in bed, and while my memory was new, a friend addressed my wife. What were his final words to you? I trust my wife would have the grace at once to improvise a lie and tell it with a guileless face to pluck a sentence from the sky. Innocuous, consoling, stark, impulsive sensible, bright, and quoted as my last remark instead of what I said tonight. Before I went to bed to die, I put the garbage can outside. Thank you. Outside of Nigel, there's uh, one other individual who is absolutely indispensable to the success of this night outside of you folks. And that's Richie Bulger, uh, right to my right. Fantastic job setting up the sound. His band, uh, Richie B and the Wannabes, are going to perform later. And uh, Richie is, uh, well, you can hear me, and it's because of the great sound. Wonderful, yeah. We couldn't do this without you, uh, Richie. This is absolutely great for you to, to donate uh, all your time and expertise for this. Right now, we'd like to uh, draw your attention to the big screen at the front of uh, the auditorium here tonight. Pat Martell has put together a wonderful video about Nigel that we're going to show you uh, now. And then, uh, after the video, we're going to have some words from uh, the fine man himself. 
That's Mr. right. Nigel I, have, Armstrong. I have the mic. I'm going to take it over. I would urge everybody here, Nigel put a, and, and Pat Martell, thank you very much, Pat, for this, for this uh, tremendous video. Uh, Pat's sidekick tonight, William Wright. Whoops, I'm looking right at him. Uh, <laughs> Carrie Campbell and Teresa, Teresa Wright, one of my former colleagues at The Guardian. Um, it's a, it's, we'd ask you to, I know it's a, it's a bit noisy in here, but there's a lot of thought went into this video. It's very inspirational. Nigel had about 100 or over 100 uh, jumps from an airplane, and uh, he kind of sees this journey that he's on now very much like his first skydiving expedition mm -hmm. and uh, so we would ask everyone to uh, please uh, pay attention to it and then Nigel will probably say a few words after. Thank you. It's, it's a difficult life to live so the normal difficult symptoms are the same, and we're just carrying on. Appetite is good. A little too good, it looks like, often, but anyway. Thank you very much, guys. Um, I'm Nigel Armstrong, and I'm here at the kind of end of a long prostate cancer journey. And um, in fact, there was a journey even before that. So I've been fighting cancer now since 2010. And um, you guys have come up with this beautiful little reception for me. And um, it was a little kind of um, you know, awkward, but people said that I inspire people and that um, they wanted to kind of recognize that. So the committee has been fantastic to put this whole thing together. Thank you so much, so much for coming forward with this. And for everybody else for coming out, it's been, it's been a great evening. But um, my little segment here, I wanted to do a little sort of monologue about my cancer journey and how it all came about. And um, you guys, I think, have seen that I'm uh, sometimes uh, laughing and I'm, I've got little stories to tell. And um, this is all in the midst of going along the cancer route. And I think people say, well, how can you have smiles and like tell funny stories when you have, you're dealing with cancer? And um, well, uh, it, uh, it's not always that easy. Um, you know, my kids, they have to wake up every day. But what about daddy? And, and, like, it's not that easy to do this. So um, it just turns out that I've got a lot of help in, in doing this. and. Um, I really, really believe that it comes from above, you know. When people say they pray for you and suddenly you're out telling a funny story, I think those two are connected. So, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm back on the funny line now, don't worry about that. Um, I have always done skydiving and I suddenly realized that it's a bit like almost a faith journey too, so I want to just work with that. My first jump that I ever made, all the sort of steps in it were very, very much like a faith journey. So I'd like to show you what it'd be like with words in my first jump. The first thing that you have to do is get your gear lined up and get yourself in the airplane and figure out why you haven't thrown up yet with a total lot of fear. You kind of go into sort of a smushing mode where you can barely function, but they, they know that and they talk and they tell you right into your ears. So you get into the airplane, off you go, ba -ba 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 -ba. it's an old beat up airplane. People say, why would you ever want to jump out of a perfect human airplane? Well, I'm jumping out of an airplane held together with duct tape, you know, this is seriously. <laughs> anyway, so you come on over and you get in and off you fly and about 3,000 feet, like, <laughs> and so you try and put your feet on the wheel, which is low down, and hang on to the strut. And it's incredibly noisy. The wind is in your face, and, and you can hardly see what's going on. You're like, uh, and you're tapping your shoulder. Go! Oh, oh okay, I'm gonna let the door. Off you go. 
kind of it's a, almost a mistake, and suddenly, wham! There's no noise. Not a shot of noise. It's completely calm and quiet. And you start to go down, and you're looking out. Oh, oh, oh hey! But it just doesn't sound right. It sounds more like a, I don't know what it is. And you can hear, there's people talking somewhere on a deck. Oh my gosh. Nigel, get your called steering toggles. Oh, 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 check your canopy. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at that. It's a big, honking, solid piece of nylon filled with air, and these, all these strings come down and uh, turn towards the drop zone. I, I, can't, I don't, can't, can't see the drop zone. I'm not quite sure where it is. Uh, um, Okay, okay, there it is, okay, I, I see it, okay. Just fly towards the drop zone, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so different looking from up here. Wow, um, oh yeah, there's the dog barking. Okay, now uh, stand by to land, <laughs> you know. So, uh, you have to pull the triggers before these, so turn right. Okay, uh, uh, I have to pull on it and then suddenly the parachute catches on that you're turning right and it whooshes you around like, like, like uh, being turned around like this. So push it down, whoosh, around we go to the drop zone. It says to stand by to land. Oh, yeah. oh my God, where am I gonna land? Okay, and flare, flare now, okay. <laughs> Ooh, yay, I did it. the comparison I make and it's been just a total gift to me because um, now um, I get to receive some of the benefits of a good relationship with God and one of them is that I can smile you know <laughs> I, can, I can enjoy telling little stories and the cancer keeps coming along and that's just fine because for me it's just where God has me so when we uh, uh, want to be inspired the number one time to be inspired is to try to get a relationship with God. I'm just saying, because it worked for me, ta-da! So thank you very much to the committee for all the work of getting this together. I'm, I'm going to go and have a little seat, and uh, I'd love to talk to anybody if they, you know, they, do, like, do you want to try it? Or something like that. So I, and it's, if you have some memories, come on down and talk about the right people and remind me of things I totally have forgotten about. So um, I'll just head down and thank you very much for everybody for coming. It was really, really, really nice to see everybody so far. And um, I, I just can't say enough. Come on, the guys that organized this, beautiful thing. Thanks so much. We'll see you around. Once again, uh, I believe, yes, we're going to have a standing ovation here. Thanks again, Pat Martell, uh, for an inspirational video. Nigel, thank you for being our inspiration. You're an inspirational guy, and you always have been. Oh, yeah, I think I'll have to probably put out in a few minutes. My energy is a bit low, but uh, thank you so much, Gary, Kevin, the whole crew, for everything that you're doing, and uh, for the whole uh, crew that organized this uh, great event. <laughs> okay, guys, take care and have some fun. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Over to you, Kerry Wynn. Thanks so much, uh, Pat and Nigel, for putting that video to, together for us. And certainly is just another testament of Nigel's faith. And we also uh, want to thank uh, Philip Pater 
from uh, Pater Audio for doing his thing for the video here tonight as well. Thank you so much, Philip. And yes, we still have lots of stuff to do here tonight. Uh, some more entertainers and then uh, Richie Bolger and the wannabes will be playing as well. And uh, still a chance, just to remind you, you can pick up your 50-50 tickets before 9.30. Then the draw is at 10 o'clock. Uh, Philip Brown, his worship Philip Brown, will do the draw and have a few words to say as well. You do have to be here to win the 50-50. And uh, the silent auction tables again in the other room right across the hallway. They will be open for bidding till 10 o'clock tonight. And now we want to welcome another incredible island entertainer that uh, no doubt some of you have seen at least five or ten times. And uh, it's quite a thing, you know, any of these benefits, the first thing done is to go to the musicians on the island and ask them for help with this and we need to give a big round of applause for all the musicians right across uh, PEI that do that on a regular basis to help community activities like this. And here's one of them uh, along with uh, Mr. Don Fraser. Please welcome Kendall Dougherty. One, two. Great to be here tonight, folks, to uh, help out Nigel and his family. And I want to thank Don for agreeing to help me out as well. We're going to do a song by Michael Buble to start things off called Home. Summer days come and gone away. There is no room, I want to go home. Maybe surrounded by a million people, I feel alone, I want to go home. It's you, you know. I've been keeping all the letters that I wrote to you each one a line or two find baby how are you I should tell them but I know that it is not enough my words are cold and fly you deserve more sunny place, lucky I know, I want to go home, let me go home, let me go home, I'm just too far from where you are, want to go It's like it's like I stepped outside and everything was going right, and I know just why you could not go along with me, cause it was not your time, but you always believed in me. Now the winter days come and gone away. There is no room, no want to go home. Let me go home. I'm surrounded by a million people. I feel alone. I want to go home. Miss you, you know. Let me go. Be 
Beatles song. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. In my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. When the broken hearted people living near the world agree, there will be an answer, let it be. For though they may be parted, there is still a chance that they will see. There will be an answer. Let it be, 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 there will be an answer, let it be. When the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me, shine until tomorrow, let it be. Wake up to the sound of music, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be, 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 whisper words of wisdom, let it be, let it be, let it be. Let it be. Thank you.
whistle on the faces People passing by I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do They're really saying I love you I hear babies cry to myself what a wonderful world yes I think to myself what a wonderful Imagine there's no country It isn't hard to do Nothing to kill or die for and No religion to I wonder if you can No need for greed, no hunger A brotherhood of man Imagine all the people a dreamer but I'm not the only one I hope someday he'll join us and the world will live as one No possession. I wonder if you care. No need for greed or hunger. A brotherhood of man. Imagine all. I'm not the only one Hope someday you'll find us And the world shall live as
gets them that keep. Hey, okay. But we're going to do one more song, and uh, this is a great old song. Uh, not that old, but uh, very uh, uplifting. Called You Raise Me Up. Kendall Doherty, that was super. Another very kind and generous Wonderful. island musician. Don Frazier, double duty. Um, should have had Carrie Wynn singing with Don Frazier. No, I'm too busy. Uh, too busy? <laughs> I am. You too have busy. Some, you have some stuff to announce. <laughs> yeah. Again, um, please stick around. We are going to move into the next portion of uh, the evening. And... Um, we just have to do a little bit of rejigging and uh, then the fun will start again. And in the meantime, uh, you can go over and check your bids. If you haven't been into the room with the silent auction items, you can bid there until 10 o'clock 
tonight. And uh, there's, again, there's an incredible array of items there that speaks volumes about uh, what the community thinks and loves about Nigel Armstrong and what uh, he has done for many of us and the effect that he has had over the years. And we all love him so much and we love you all for coming. Exactly. Uh, a lot of thank yous gone out here tonight, but you know, you guys are the reason this thing is a, a great success. Thank you for supporting this. And please keep Nigel and Sarah and the kids in your prayers. God bless.